A new exhibit is opened at the Annecy Museum of Natural History that includes unpublished works from English naturalist Philip Henry Goss. The new exhibit is called Philip Henry Goss, A Naturalist Sojourn in Alabama, and it highlights the efforts he made to identify and replicate the native insect life that belongs to the state when, after he was only here for six months. During Goss's time in Alabama, it was still a relatively new state back in the 1800s, and no one had yet taken the time to explore and study it as he did. His artwork is exquisite, it's very colorful, um, but it's always interesting to see the real thing. So we supplemented it with about seven um, actual specimens. So you can see the actual bug specimen next to the painted version of it. None of his works were actually published in his life that he had done in Alabama. Um, works he had done in England were published, so he was well known over there. He was a contemporary of Darwin. Um, but none of this was published. So about 10 years ago, um, he actually kind of gained notoriety again in Alabama. So this exhibit is kind of to highlight um, all that he did for us, because um, again, he was one of the first people to really do this. The exhibit is made possible by Alabama Audubon, with assistance from the Auburn University Library's Archives and Special Collections Department, as well as support from the Daniel Foundation of Alabama. It will be showcased inside the Amnesty Museum for the next six months.